Where are your kids? Uh, they're heading up. I gotta get a coffee. You're getting a coffee? Ollie, is this an important part of you? Your uh, job here? Or? Yeah. It's great because Snake Gully is really ideal. I've been watching the band in the, uh, the gully and uh, Snake. And I can enjoy myself. Do you think that all of this uh, coffee drinking has become, become a bit of a problem? Yeah, a bit. How, how is that turning out? Well, he's not like giving us like any feedback on our skiing. And he's just like not very nice to us. He's more interested in his coffee than his group. Stop sucking, start skiing. Ollie, is your coffee warm? It's getting big. I have to go get another one. I'm going to sleep though. I don't have any poles so I can hold two cups. It'd be more efficient. Oli, where are you at, please? I don't know, somewhere. I told them to meet us in an hour. Two, five laps. So is this your fourth coffee? Fifth, and it's... 9.30. It's pretty good. It's nice, I mean, I just get to relax in my job, sit back, nice headrest here. I don't want to go with the kids. What's your heart rate? I don't know, it's probably about 300 for all the caffeine. So now when you're out of coffee, what, what's next? Oh, I just get a new one. Time for a coffee? Yeah. Wait! I'm close. Don't you know? I'm getting my coffee! Trent, all this coffee problem. How do you see? How do you look at that? What problem? <laughs> it's a healthy addiction. What do I think about all this problem? Yeah. It's pretty bad. You think it's drinking too much coffee? Yeah. More than anyone else up here? Pretty much. He comes in every sort of 10 minutes. So, Oli, what are you doing when you've got a long lift line and you just need to go up for a coffee? It's pretty simple, Bill. I, uh, I pull out my coach card, like my parking ticket. Normally, we always have one of these already.